the result of stealing. Monu always used to handle his toys very carelessly. One day, while playing, he broke his brand new remote control toy car. During evening, when his parents were having their meal, he went near them and started insisting for a new car. Dad, I want a brand new remote control car. But last week, we purchased a new one for you. That car was not good. It broke as soon as I started playing with it. No, Monu. You never take care of your toys. As soon we buy something, you break it. Now you won't get a new car. And you better don't argue with us on this topic. Saying this, his father got up and left from there. Monu was very angry on his parents. Anyhow, he wanted a new car for himself. And then a wicked idea came into his mind. During night, when everyone was sleeping, he went to his parents' room and stole some money. Next day, while coming back from the school, Monu went into a toy shop and purchased his favorite car. Two thieves who were standing nearby saw all of it. They became happy by seeing so much money with a little boy. Oh, what a great day! This boy is such an easy prey for us. Let's go, brother. Both the thieves started following Monu. After some distance, there was a deserted place. By seeing the opportunity, the thieves went near him. Hey, kid. Come on, hand over all the money to us. No, this money belongs to me. But soon this money will be ours. Give it to us fast. By threatening Monu, thieves took all the money from him. And in the middle of this, his car broke. Monu started regretting for what all he did. He put the broken car inside his bag and came back to his home. He thought not to tell anyone about what all happened, otherwise he'll be scolded. What will I do now? I can't tell anything to mom and dad, otherwise they will scold me more. But in the house, Monu was about to get some other surprise. As soon as he reached home, his father gifted him a new toy car and said, Sorry, my son, I shouldn't have said no to you. Often kids break their toys. Later I realized I didn't behave properly. Therefore, for you, I purchased a remote controlled car. Keep this. Hearing this, Monu started crying loudly. What happened, son? Why are you crying? While crying, he told the entire incident to his parents. I am so sorry, mommy and daddy. I stole money from you and purchased a new car. But, but the thieves stole the money from me and even broke my new car. Monu's parents understood that Monu had got punishment for his deed. Therefore, they forgave him and explained to him lovingly. Son, to steal anything is very bad act. Thank God the thieves didn't cause any harm to you. From now onwards, don't ever do this. Monu realized his mistake. He promised never to steal anything. Lesson to the beggar A long time ago, in a city, seven-year-old Gattu lived with his parents and grandfather. Every morning, Gattu's grandfather dropped him at the school and used to pick him up in the afternoon. One day, as usual, while his grandfather was accompanying him on the way back from the school, they saw a beggar on the way. Please, sir, give me some money. Since long, I haven't eaten anything. Grandpa, it seems he is very, very hungry. Can you please give him some money? You are saying it right, Gatu. I shall right away give him some money. Saying this, his grandfather took some money out of his pocket and gave it to the beggar. I will always remain thankful to you, sir. After giving him some money, Grandpa and Gatu walked towards their home. 
Next day too, while they were on their way back from the school, they saw the same beggar again. And on Gatu's request, grandfather gave him some money. This went on for many days. Next morning, grandfather was not feeling well. Therefore, Gatu had to go to school alone. That day, school principal came to Gatu's class and told the students. Kids, we shouldn't give any money to the beggars who we find on our way. But principal, sir, if we won't give any money to them, then how come they will eat any food? You are saying it right, Gatu. But the money which they get every day from people won't make any difference in their lives ever, you know. But sir, what should we do then? Rather than giving money to beggars every day, it's better to make them learn any work so that he can earn some money with it and have some good food with that money. Now Kaktu understood wise ways of his principle and how he should help the beggar. He was on his way back after his school got over and since his grandfather was not feeling well, he met that beggar alone. Oh little master, where is your grandfather today? Now who will give money to me for my meal? You need not worry at all. Today I will give you money. You? Yes, me. But in return, you have to do some work for me. All right. Got to take the beggar along with him to his father's toy factory. And after listening everything, his father said, If this is so, then I shall surely help you out. Come. Then he took that beggar near the spare parts of the toys and said to the beggar, Why don't you join these spare parts and make a shirt for me? If you succeed in this, then I will give you lots of money. What? If this is the condition, then I shall right away make a wonderful toy for you. Finally, after many mistakes, Becker made a ship the way he was told. Hope you will like this, little master. Yes, this is wonderful. Wow! So now according to the condition, you are bound to give me lots of money. Yes, here is the money earned by you. Becker was delighted by getting such a big amount. I am highly thankful to you, little master. You gave me such huge amounts of money. I've not given any money to you. This money you have earned by your hard work. What do you mean? I mean that this money is for the wonderful ship you made for me. And now you know how to make toys. Therefore, there is no need for you to beg now. And you have to come daily here to the factory and you shall make the toys in return. My father will give you money. Hearing this, tears of joy came in the beggar's eyes. Thanks a lot, little master. People used to give me money for begging only. But you have taught me to do good. So now there's no need for me to beg. This way, from his wisdom, got to help the beggar and taught him to make toys with which the beggar started earning money and due to his hard work, he stopped begging forever.